So this one deserves a little explanation. Don't worry, I'm not going to go running my mouth off in every one of my videos now. But there's this rumor that's been going around the internet since Al Gore invented it that 30 carbine could bounce off a North Korean soldier's clothing. Yeah, I know it's you know a little ridiculous, but I figured I'd test it. Now, I don't know what North Korean soldiers wore, so I made the best simulation of that I could imagine in that I used canvas for an outer sort of shell jacket. Then um, underneath that, I used a polypropylene undershirt that's issued to United States soldiers now, actually. Um, we call it polypro. Underneath that, a couple layers of jeans represented a uniform shirt. Underneath that, another layer of polypro. And underneath that, a cotton t-shirt. I figured that's roughly representative of some pretty heavy winter clothing. No. High left. Low right. Got it. <laughs> Figured I grabbed a bad mag. Look at that. So it turns out, clothing doesn't stop bullets. And I also soaked it wet, left it in the freezer overnight, because I knew someone would claim, well, yeah, but if it was frozen, it would have stopped those bullets. So let's take a look at that. Oh, look at that. Even frozen clothing doesn't stop bullets. Shocking, isn't it? Boom. Holes. Holes. Holes in the front. Holes in the back. But I tell you what, if somebody was wearing those clothes, they'd probably be dead. I mean, from hypothermia before the bullets got to them. Okay, so that wasn't all that surprising, was it? But I also shot a level 2A vest, which is actually designed to stop bullets. I wasn't really sure what would happen. And 30 carbine's moving along fairly well, but it doesn't have a lot of mass, and it's not a very pointy bullet. And the target was about 75 yards out there. So we went ahead and shot that. And here's what happened to the body armor. Here's where it hit. And there's where it poked right through. Now, you might notice that it's on the very edge of the body armor. And I think that is where a lot of this rumor came in. See, I think what happened was a lot of these soldiers were used to the M1 Garand. They were used to a rifle that you could hit a human-sized target pretty well with it at significant distance and a cartridge that in their experience in World War II put people down. Later on they might have been promoted to a senior NCO and they've been issued a 30 carbine. They can't hit the target as easily and if they do hit the target it doesn't have that terminal effect that 30 on 6 did. We can see the bullet impact is on the very edge here. My friend's not a an Olympic shooter by any means, but he can shoot a rifle pretty well. And even at 75 yards, the 30 carbine can put pretty decent groups on paper with good conditions and, and a rest. But in field conditions, I think it got to be pretty difficult for soldiers to get rounds on their target. So I think what we're, what we're seeing is not so much 
that the bullets bounced off Korean jackets, but that the soldiers just weren't hitting their targets. <laughs>